Are you guys are you guys doing like the church live stream thing? Yeah, we did it uh, earlier. So uh, my pastor he went live and I just kind of went live with him. And so basically Damn. what I did, yeah, it was fun, man. He just preached. I watched the message. I told people to just come and watch it with me. He was fire. That's super fire. Yeah, we watched uh, we watched our pastor this morning. But that's nice. the joy of live stream. This video on demand. Slept in. Absolutely. Caught it a Absolutely. couple hours later. You know Let's I mean? go. I love it, man. <laughs> you having a good day though? I am, man. We're just uh, we're just hanging. It's uh, cool. it's a slow slow day, slow Sunday. Relaxing today, cool, man. Yeah. If you could tell people one thing right on your heart right now, what would you tell them? Uh, a, word. So a word of the day, thought of the day, something that you're inspired by today. Something that I was inspired by today. I was, you know, what I was reading since it's Sunday. What? I'm just talk a little bit. I was reading about uh, in the in the book of Matthew, they uh, outline uh, the first three temptations of Jesus, right? So right after Jesus gets baptized by John, and he basically comes into being himself, and he's like, "I'm about to go preach. I'm about to go do this stuff." The Holy Spirit uh, brings Jesus into the wilderness by himself. And he goes and he fasts for 40 days uh, by himself. And when he gets to, like, the most frail, weakest version of himself, uh, he gets visited by Satan. And, uh, and the first thing that Satan comes to him and says is, hey, you're so hungry. But if you're the son of God, you should be able to turn these stones into bread. And Jesus replies, uh, we, we survive not by bread, but by the word of God. And so... Obviously, Satan gets mad. He's like, all right. And he teleports Jesus uh, to the highest point of the temple. And he says, Jesus, if you're really the son of God, you should be able to just jump off of this building and the angels will come and protect you. So that's that's what it says in the word. It says that right there in the fine print. So you should just jump off. And Jesus says, don't tempt the Lord. Don't test mm. the Lord. Because mm. even though, you know what I'm saying, like, I know what the word is, and, and obviously now we know Satan knows what the word is. We're not going to test God right now. And this really pisses it. The... Top of the tallest mountain, and he shows him all the kingdoms of the world. All of Jerusalem, and he says, all of this could be yours. You could be the king of the world. All you have to do is drop down to your knees and worship me. Mm. And Jesus says, I will only worship the Father get away from me and in that moment the devil has to leave mm. so three quick obvious uh quick little points that you learn from that us can be tempted now we're not i'm not saying that everybody will fall for the temptation because we have a great example of jesus right there but even jesus was tempted right mm -hmm. number two we know that the devil knows the word of God and he mm -hmm. can use it to confuse us. So that we, so we should be extremely attentive to our words so we know exactly what we're supposed to do. And number three, the most simple, uh, and I think the, the real uh, conclusion of the story is if you tell the devil to get off your back, he has to go. So mm -hmm. that's my that's my thought of the day. That's what I was reading today. And that's what I, what I, so good. yeah. My other thought would be uh, so good, stream stuck with you. <laughs> it's, a fire, it's a fire dance. If you got yourself a lady or a fella.